I get asked from time to time about different ways to prepare venison. And well, I could go on for days about different ways to prepare venison. Sometimes I think it's code for, is there a way to prepare venison without the taste? I don't think I can help you with that because I think venison is one of the best red meats in the world. And simply steaks is the best way to cook it. I want to be clear. This is my way. I know there's a lot of ways out there, but when I speak of venison steak, I'm talking about any part of the loin into the rump. I try and cut all of my steaks equal width. I start with salt and pepper and then a good spray of olive oil. Whether you use charcoal, gas, or a pan, fast hot heat is the key here. And make sure to pull it right before your preferred doneness. What's your preferred doneness, you ask? I use the old thumb finger thermometer, where if you put your ring finger to your thumb and feel in between the knuckles, this would be rare. If you put your middle finger and thumb together, this is medium rare. Index finger is medium, and pinky, we don't go there. I suggest to always serve and eat venison, not more done than medium. To me, that's the key. Once you go over medium rare, that's when you can run the risk of those gamey flavors. I normally cook my steaks for two to four minutes per side, but I use my thumb finger thermometer. And once the meat gets to just before the doneness I prefer, I pull it and put it into the microwave or oven to let it rest for a few minutes. Now, I cheated a little bit and added some sauteed Montana morels, but for a meal that could have come from your backyard, there's nothing better than Montana venison steak. I'm Winston Greeley, out of Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.